feature race today was the Labrooks Champion Stairs Hurling. It was won in great style by Classical Dream in the first time Hood. Haven't seen him for 487 days, but he done it very well up a mile and trip. Patrick Mullins joins me now. Patrick, well done. Thanks, um, Fran, but uh, I think Eilish Burner deserves huge credit with this horse. She rides him out every day, and he's not simple. He, he's, um, you know, he does a lot of jumping around, and he, he can be a bit temperamental, but Eilish has given him a lot of time and effort and patience, um, and uh, she deserves most of the credit today, I think. Yeah, for sure, because when you walked out by me onto the track, he went out first, to two handlers on him, his head was down, he was fresh. I said, God, he won't settle after the length of time he's been off, but he wasn't bad through the race. Yeah, he's fine actually once he gets going. Um, it's just, you know, the first 10 strides and walk, trying to walk up is when he gets excited. Um, I thought the fast start wouldn't be ideal, he was getting quite warm then, so I, I got to put my gloves on then for the second start. But um, he settled, we went a very strong gallop, and he settled well with a hood on him. Um, he just came out of my hands at the third fence hurdle, which is what he, he's done, when he, which is what he was doing over two miles when he was flat out. But after that, he um, didn't put a foot wrong. You know, he was A to B at the last, but that was fine. Um, and that's, I mean, he was a supreme novice, a supreme novice winner, so he had the potential to do that. He did. He obviously made that mistake in Madison Hurl, uh, quite spectacular yeah. he, when he was last seen. That must have been the back of mind at the last. Um, it was, but that's just, I, I was sitting on him down to the first tree and when he did that I just started squeezing him forward into the, the hurdles and um, he's just, like I said, he's a bit awkward. If you're maybe taken aback a bit um, or he's running very keen, he can, he can um, step, but he seems to have matured a bit out of that um, and probably going three mile pace, he's more comfortable. I think over two miles he was a little out of his comfort zone maybe when he stepped out of novice company. Gotcha, and uh, just st seeing the trip today, given the pace to went, he obviously saw it every yard of it and probably improved for it. Hurling or chasing next season? Yeah, I, 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 it'll be interesting. He's school over fences. He was meant to run in a beginner's chase at Leprechaun at Christmas, and he got a little setback. And then by the time he was ready to go again, it was too late to go chasing and lose his novice season, so we said we'd come here. I imagine the French champion hurdle would be an option for him, um, three miles over the French hurdles. And um, he jumps fences well. Uh, but obviously, on that performance, he could be um, a cut above the stairs division. So uh, I imagine Willie will have um, a lot of thinking to do. <laughs> he will indeed. He's a fresh horse either way. And Patrick, uh, you have obviously a dice heart dynamo in the last, but energy mean. It's great to see him back for grade one later on. Yeah, again, got a very small um, setback. Just bad timing, Miss Chetlam. Could have gone to uh, Fairy House, but Willie just felt it was going to be messing. It was going to be rushing him a little bit. He just said, we'd sit, we'd wait, we'd wait for punch down. Um, look, on form, he has the edge over Captain Guinness, and Janadil is a very good horse, but probably stepping back to two miles mightn't be see him at his very best. Excellent, and Dicer Dynamo? A uh, horse I really like, Michael Fogarty, he's been very sweet in him all season, riding him work. He's a big, raw baby of a horse, um, a, a, a Westerner. Um, I would imagine he's going to one further, he won over 2-2, two, two, but... Uh, I'd be just a little concerned the Grand Jury, Henry's horse, um, might have an extra gear than my fella. Um, so I, I won't be hanging around too much with him. Um, I think he's a horse of the future of offences, heavy ground and a trip. And finally, Sharjah, an old friend of yours tomorrow in the Champion Hurl. Yeah, re delighted to get back on him. Um, they've done a fantastic job here keeping the ground safe. I just wonder, will it maybe blunt his speed a little bit? Um, uh, it's beautiful ground, but it might just be on the slow side for him. It's hard to see him turn the tables to Honeysuckle Bar, she has an off day, but look, that can happen a punch down, and if there is a sniff of surprise, we'll be ready to pounce. Two great ones on, 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 for, on, the, on the board for you this week. Uh, amateur title, you're three ahead of Jamie Codd now. Yeah, well, I've missed three winners as well. I, I, I've, been, <laughs> I've been picking the wrong one all week. I know how Ruby feels, uh, or Ruby used to feel, but um, it's, uh, look, I'm very lucky to be riding for Willie, and you know I'm picking up good spins and great ones. Jamie uh, doesn't have that kind of ammunition, so it, it's very difficult for him. Um, but it's nice to make the most of what you get. Excellent, listen, well done there today. Thanks so much, Frank.